Hello children, in this video we are going to do a subtraction operation on rupee and paise that is on money. So before we come to the decimal level of operation for money, let's start with simple operations. Let's say you have 7 rupees and you have taken out 1 rupee. Say you maybe you have spent 1 rupee on something. You bought a chocolate. So how many rupees are left? Very simple. You write rupee. You had 7 rupee and minus 1 rupee of chocolate you have taken. So you are left with how much? 7 minus 1, 6. Right? That's how you do it. You are left with 6 rupees. Whenever you are doing problems in rupee, you write rupee, rupee and your answer is also in rupee. Now let's take another problem. Let's say you have 80 paise and you spend 40 paise on something on a small chocolate. Okay, so how many paise are left? You've written 80 paise as 80 here, 80 paise minus 40 paise. So how do you do it? Start from the ones position. To subtraction 0 minus 0 is 0 and then you go to the tens position 8 minus 4 is 4 right so you're left with 40 paise so in the previous problem we do a subtraction of rupee and then now we are doing a subtraction between paises great now let's take another problem let's say you have 2 rupees and 40 paise and of that you have spent 1 rupee and 30 paise. So how much is left? You write 2 rupees. You divide this problem into two parts, rupee and paise. So you say 2 rupees and 40 paise. So you write 40 paise on this side of the area. I have put a small dotted line as you can see. So you have 40 paise and 2 rupees which I have written and I have spent 1 rupee and 30 paise in it. So you, you just separate the rupee and paise like this and then you just put a minus sign. What do we do now? You start again from the rightmost position that is from the ones position of the paise and you start doing subtraction. 0 minus 0 is 0, 4 minus 3 is 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. So if you look at this problem carefully, finally what we have done the subtraction is two digits at a time starting from the rightmost digit. So it looks like a three digit subtraction problem, isn't it? But it's conceptually it is rupee minus rupee and paise minus paise but you do the subtraction from the rightmost place going this way. And you follow the same rule for borrowing also. Let's see. Now let's take another notation of the same thing. Let's say you have two rupees. So we write 2 rupees as 2.00 rupees and we want to take away 1.90 rupees out of it. That is 1 rupee and 90 pesa we write as 1.90 rupees. So how much rupees is spending? So we have 2.00 rupees and of that we have spent 1.90 rupees so we we just write it just like this 0 0.00 these are the positions for paise where we write 0 0.00 and here this is like this thing so 2.00 rupees not paise 2.00 rupees the higher order uh, unit we write that is the rupee minus 1.90 rupees we start doing subtraction 0 minus 0 is 0 now we have to do 0 minus 9 can we do that no right because 0 is lesser than 9 so how do we do it in typically two or three digit uh, subtraction this thing this position till to its left neighbor can I borrow a 1 from you it says sure I can so this position even though it's across decimal we say because 1 rupee has 100 paise, we can just tell to this position saying give me a 1. So 2 says sure I can lend you a 1. So it says I'll become 1, 2 minus 1 becomes 1 and this 1 goes to this position, the next position. So it became 10. So 10 minus 9 is 
1. So we have done with this. First we did this subtraction between these two digits, then we do this 2. 10 minus 9 is 1 and now we came here. 1 minus 1 is 0. So we are left with 0 0.10 rupees. Correct? So do it consistently. The unit should be same. Everything should be rupees, right? And you keep doing this subtraction starting from the ones position here, then going here, then going here, just like three digit subtraction. Only difference is you have points in between and all the units are in rupee. So you are left with 0 0.10 rupees. Let's take another problem. Let's say we have 5.40 rupees and of that we have spent 4.80 rupees. So how do we do it? 0 minus 0 is 0. 4 minus 8 we cannot do because 4 is lesser than 8. So we go to the, its neighbor on the left side. We say, can I borrow a 1? She says, sure, I am 5. I will become 4 and I will give you a 1. Now you do 1, 4, 14 minus 8 is 6. Come to this position, you go from right to left. 4 minus 4, 0. So how do we say, how do we pronounce this? We are left with 0 0.60 rupees. Remember, don't say this as 0 0.60 paise. It's 0 0.60 rupees. Or in other words, 60 paise. 0 0.60 rupees is same as 60 paise. Okay? One last problem. 6.80 rupees minus 4.30 rupees. We write everything like this. Point, then digits after decimal and we write the unit also here. So 0 minus 0, we start from here on the rightmost place. 0 minus 0 is 0. 8 minus 3 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2. So we are left with 2.50 rupees or in other words, 2 rupees and 50 paise. But whenever you are putting dot uh, point, we say 2.50 rupees. Correct? So that's all for this video. We will see more in the next video. Till then, keep practicing, keep learning more. Bye-bye.